So he just has a bunch of, like, unique cards, thus not using the Horde ability whatsoever. Great. I'm really thinking he does not Derminator. I'm really thinking that in terms of his deck, he probably just found some cards and went, Gee golly, I got enough to put this in here together! Now I'm still gonna play as if he has a Scorch. I feel like that is a good way to play this game. Although we have an 8 here, never mind, that doesn't matter. We're gonna end up Scorching his whole front line, it's gonna be glorious, glorious. Oh wait, we will be able to Scorch his whole front line anyway. Because we play her, we bring him back, and then we're going to be able to decoy and play him again anyway. I feel bad for this guy, except I don't feel bad whatsoever. Because this is what the Baron did to me, basically, the first time I played against him. Alright, so we use our weather clear card first so that he gets his value back up above 10. That way we can use our Scorch again. I would say that was a pretty commanding victory. I can't even look at this guy. There's a wall between us and him. I just, I don't even want to see him. What an embarrassment. You, sir, are an embarrassment to Gwent. You're an embarrassment to shops. You're an embarrassment to my libido. Whee! Shit. Dad told me a dragon nested in the once upon a time. Then along came a knife in shining armor. George was named. Right to work and laying slish, slash, stew of the solid beast. Sadly, he died of his wounds. St. George. Out of gratitude, our forebears built him a tomb. It stands in the caves to this day. <laughs> That's why he did so poor. Oh, yeah, he couldn't see his cards. We put the playing field on our side of the wall, and he had to play from the other side. All right, let's see, where are we going next? I'm sure a swamp will be full of gas and drowners, but let's see what else is there. That's it, Roach. Wait, defunct houses. This is always worth checking out. Go away! <laughs> You're gonna get me killed! You're not helping! Dude, Roach, get away from me. Jesus, horse. Oh, you, 
Are you kidding me? Its spines came out while it was stunned. I'll try to fight in the swamp, but if the other enemies end up being like this level, like the only reason I'm gonna be able to beat this out rule is because it's a low. Which is no longer valid because we got too close to the swamp and now a bunch of drowners picked up. I don't suppose they'll fight with each other. Need this thing to get away from the swamp, man. Come here, you dingus! chance of frosting our enemy. I can't believe it's only now activated. Oh, this is your favorite. Okay. Well, other than Roach trying to kill us at the beginning of that fight, that went well. Alright, so let's see what this level 14 was defending. Probably a whole lot of nothing. Oh, you know what? I should have been using my oil. My bad. What? What? Locked! Locked! Alright, now to be fair, I can see you in that building and there's no loot in there. This one, on the other hand, there is loot in the building. I hear a hag. A water thing? Whatever they're called. Probably in the swampy area. Oh crap. Yeah, let's not jump off roots. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Bye. Whee! Oh my god, a level 20. Yeah, okay, we can't fight in the swamp. Ha! I'm level 7. That's, uh... For some reason, that strikes me as a fight that's not exactly in my, uh... What do you want to call it? My advantage? My favor. Faster. My... My tendency towards being alive. Which makes sense. It seems the further we get towards the outskirts, the harder they are. No balls! No balls! You're right, Bobaz. Bobaz. Pawpaws. Yeah, I'm good at names. Oh, that reminds me, because I'm going to be updating this in a moment. Bam! 50 deaths. Let's get her! Hey, Lizzo. One shot me. That's why we're going to queue in. Oh! Oh, speaking of which. Now, if we start hitting it and we're doing, like, a single point of damage, we are just gonna back off, but... Oi! Running away, aye! You lily little coward! All right, we're almost doing no damage here. I don't know if this is a fight we want to do. Just 
just because of time constraints. Although we got her with Frost. She didn't one shot. Let's pop a Thunderbolt, see if we can do a little more damage with this. Ah! It's a muddy animal, use fire. That would have been a better idea. I obviously will not dodge everything because I'm the best at getting hit. It's resistance training. The more you get hit, clearly, the more immune to it you become. That's why every morning when I wake up, I punch myself in the face 20 times. <laughs> I pretend that was 20. I wasn't counting. And, uh, and therefore, one day, I will be immune to being punched in the face. That's, that's how that works. That's science. That's just science. All right? Bow, down, bow, down, bow, down, bow, down, bow. Hi, people! Alright, let's check these visions out. I'm sensing a gravity death in my... Uh, in my near future. Oh, dude! I smell an ability point! Mandalion's humming. Makes Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it was exactly... Exactly for this moment. Where I horribly got murdered in a swamp. By a hag. An enhanced saddle? Oh, wait a minute. That's worthless crap! That's not enhanced anything! Bollocks! Rubbish! Poppycock! Rot! Boulder Dash! Why do I still have that equipped? The world men never know. Because it's not doing me a lot of good at the immediate. Each defensive action generates adrenaline points. No. Battle trance increases critical hit chance by 8% per What is battle trance? We're going to use that so we have a way to actually spend our adrenaline. That wasn't that far. All right, so I may have uh, thought that there was a, a different spot there. <clears throat> that is my adrenaline point skill. So, gravity. My friend. My cruel, fickle, vindictive mistress. Oi! That coffee! It's quite hot. Alright, let's try this again, but with less falling down dead. 